The state pension pot will run out by 2047, seven years earlier than originally predicted. A series of measures has now been devised. These include a higher state pension age than the UK and introducing compulsory private pensions for the workforce. And with the Treasury member, Bill Henderson, MHK, can I ask you, first of all, how did this state of affairs come about and, and why did we not look at this out of date and broken system as it's been described by the consultants before now? Well, we need to make a few things very clear. Um, this is a report that has been presented to Treasury and the Council of Ministers. It presents proposals and I must stress they are just that. However, the report has identified that there is a critical mass situation arrived at now with the Manx National Insurance Fund. It will run out and it has identified ideas that if we take that path we can um, build a sustainable national insurance fund and ensure that our children, grandchildren and future generations have a pension. At the minute it's going to run flat at 2047 as you said. Mm. Now the consultants did say the existing system is out of date and broken. Why has it been left until now? Well, they've used some strong terminology. The Manx system has been in place for decades. It's coped with a developing community and population, um, changing demographics. It's been reciprocated with the UK, so every change they've made, we've had to put bolt-ons here, which has caused a bulky, cumbersome, bureaucratic system. The consultants have identified, rightly so, I suppose, that we need to be modern. We need to face the challenges of the Isle of Man community. We need to look at specific issues here and address those in an Isle of Man way, and that's the point that they're making. Now, now two of the major points are that we will have to work for longer and that employees, and again, I understand this is just a recommendation, That's right. might have to contribute to a private pension scheme as well as the state pension scheme. Could you uh, briefly talk me through so some of the other main recommendations? Well, people may have to work longer, that's true, because to keep the fund sustainable, um, national insurance contributions may have to go up to uh, combat the situation. Um, there's a complete revamp mentioned with regards to Social Security, uh, new Manx benefits, um, a new Manx pension, the levelling out eventually of the Manx pension supplement, they mentioned that, there'll be a transition period and so on. One thing I need to stress for the public though is that current pensioners, most of which will not be affected if uh, these recommendations come into being, say, next year, but it, it, there's a long way to go yet for discussion, rejigging of some of the ideas or indeed new ideas put into it because the consultants have presented us with a picture that needs to be finished off. They've given us a palette of colours that we could use, uh, but there's nothing stopping, stopping us using our own palette, joining with theirs to move forward on this as well. But you're also looking at ending the reciprocal agreement with the UK in terms of social security. Well, the report says we may need to look at that. There's been no dis government decision made on that, so we need to make that clear. These are recommendations. No approval's been given to them yet. We're presenting them to the people of the Isle of Man to say, look, this is the assessment. Over to you for consultation, ideas and views. So no one's saying that the reciprocal arrangement is ending but the consultants are quite clear that if we want to have a sustainable national insurance fund, we want to have a modern benefit system that meets the needs of the Isle of Man, not something that's a truncated version of the UK which has different needs, then we may need to talk to Westminster uh, and come up with some mutually agreeable ways forward. So that's the key there, mutually agreeable ways forward. How do you think these proposals will be received by the general public? I think much the same as I did, um, quite shocked to start with at the gravity of the situation, but I'm relieved in some ways that if we manage our way carefully, use the recommendations as a base, put our own thoughts to them, change them a bit, or put our own version in place, but 
so that we are on the course to, we, they have shown us that there is a course to take that we can meet the challenge and keep the pension safe so that in years to come people will still have a pension and a reasonable one at that. And, and one of the points you've made today is that doing nothing is, is not an is option. not an option, no. The National Insurance Fund will dry up as in, the in the projections in 2047.